What is lab? Physics lab or biology lab or any lab is a place where we do experiments and practice and learn things. What we are taught in theory classes are practiced in lab. Lab gives hands-on experience. Lab faculty guides us in performing experiments or learning process. Lab faculty corrects us when we do wrong. Labs allow us to practice until we are successful. Lab is a place where we have different tools and materials to practice and improve our skill. What is language lab? Similarly, a language lab is a place where we learn language. The way we have tools, equipments, chemicals, specimens in our science labs, in English language lab, we have number of tools which teach and guide us to learn and practice language. Language lab is a software which enhances skill of student. Language lab teaches English and enhances ability to listen, speak, read and write. Listening and speaking are the skills which requires massive practice. Everyone around child speaks mother tongue which makes child to understand faster. If we were born and brought up in a society where English is first language, then we would have been experts in speaking. Many students don't get an opportunity to speak English. We fear that we may not speak correctly, so we don't speak in English. We fear that people will laugh on us if we make mistake. For that, many experts advise to talk in front of mirror. Yes, partially that can be done. Person who is in mirror is you. Person in mirror may not laugh on your mistakes, but he will not be able to correct your mistake. He will not be able to guide you. So, you need to talk to a person who wouldn't laugh on you and who corrects you and guides you and teaches you and enhances your English speaking skill in you. English language lab does the same thing. It teaches you a sequential manner so that you improve your skill faster and accurately. English language lab is a virtual mentor to enhance English skill. Why a language lab? Benefits of language labs. Language labs are becoming highly valued at schools, colleges and universities because they offer students a structured e-learning environment that is successful and reliable. New technologies are increasingly more present in classrooms as they facilitate the teacher's role in creating a more attractive learning environment for the student and can offer their students more practice hours and up-to-date exercises than can be found in language books. Listening, speaking, reading and writing, LSRW are the four skills which play an important role in the acquisition of language and learning. English Language Lab has had a tradition of helping learners improve their English, whether for work, personal enrichment or English for academic purposes, EAP. The Language Lab is a very useful tool that facilitates classroom engagement and interaction via computer-based exercises and activities to maximize language immersion. These labs provide a very different experience from the traditional system of teaching and learning languages, offering more advanced features and functionalities. Why Digital Teacher English Language Lab? CEFR, Common European Framework of Reference and Cambridge English Teaching Framework defines how to enhance skill in English. We have designed the lab as per their instructions and customized examples and scenarios as per learners of India. This software is specifically designed for learners in India. An approach to teaching English as a skill. The structured approach takes at the language learning through an organized process of gradual learning. 
the system ensures a stress-free environment with high-quality digital content. The software allows learners a private environment for self-paced practice. All international language programs and tests, including the parameters set by CBSE, follow the guidelines set by ALTE. Keeping the importance of a teacher in mind, Digital Teacher Language Lab provides teacher handbook and sessions planner. Common European Framework of Reference, CEFR Basic, A1 and A2 Intermediate, B1 and B2 Mastery, C1 and C2 Digital Teacher English Language Lab provides a learner with Enhancement of Spoken English Skills Practicing English Using Everyday Scenarios Acquisition of Vocabulary Through Integrated Learning Pronunciation Practice Using Phonetics Gradual Upgradation of English Language Skills Through a Structured Program Language Skills Gradually Upgraded from A1 to C2 Level CEFR Levels Enhancement of Functional English and Functional Grammar Extensive Listening and Speaking Practice Strategic Content in a Rich Audio-Visual Format Fun-Filled Method of Lesson Delivery A Blended Learning Program As per International Standards Caters to the Needs of State Boards or CBSC Features of Digital Teacher English Language Lab Provides equal weightage on LSRW Well-graded content Situational approach Well-guided practice activities Learner-centered activity Academic vocabulary Reference option on activities Record and download voice option Extra information and practice activities for individual learners. Special activities to overcome mother tongue influence, MTI. Detailed coverage on phonetics. Reading covers all aspects of grammar in usage. Writing covers all discourses for CBSC and SSC. Editing explores grammatical accuracy. Listening provides exposure to variety of text. Assessments Key areas of Digital Teacher English Language Lab Digital Teacher English Language Lab not only enhances vocabulary but also focuses on the finer shades of language like grammar, pronunciation, intonation, modulation, phonetics, MTI and syllabic division. Learners learn without any fear or embarrassment, which helps build their confidence and proficiency in the language. Pace of speech Pace is a key to effective communication in which the speech is clearly understood and made interesting. MTI A focus on mother tongue influence, MTI, to overcome pronunciation differences of consonant sounds using mouth movements. Vocabulary 5,000 plus words, 8 levels with picture representation helps the students in learning new words. Fluency In order to improve fluency, audio or visual applications based on stress, intonation and modulation are practiced. Grammar Student can gain complete grammar knowledge. Speech sounds Pronunciation of consonants and vowel sounds made easy with correct syllabic division and stress patterns. Intonation Improving the knowledge of English by mastering variations in volume, pitch, speed and stress. Pronunciation 3,000 plus difficult words to recite for better pronunciation. ASL Model used for assessment of speaking and listening skills to communicate, enrich, 
and evaluate the learner's proficiency. Phonetics The accent of different words made easy through phonetics. Modulation Modulation helps to achieve precision in pronunciation. Syllabic division Almost 3,000 plus syllabic words are used from monosyllabic to hexasyllabic. Blended learning Blended learning methodology contains both ILT, instructor-led training, and CBT, computer-based training. In ILT, an instructor interacts with the students in executing the activities, whereas in CBT, student can perform them alone. Modes of delivery or distribution or installation Client-server technology Software will be installed in server and nodes, systems connected to server can access the software. PC, single system. Software is installed in single system. USB drive. Software will be available in USB drive and user can plug in USB and run software on any system. Technical support through a help desk. The existing computer labs infrastructure can be used as language labs. No need for additional infrastructure. Software works on zero clients and thin clients. Economical headsets can also be used for recording, speaking section. Hardware required, system plus headset with mic. Hi, welcome to Digital Teacher English Language Lab. So here is our software. This is our executable icon. Just double click on that icon to open our software. Here you can see it is loading all our components. So this is the GUI of Digital Teacher English Language Lab. So it is developed as per CEFR, that is Common European Framework of Reference. Here you can see all our icons, listening, speaking, reading, writing and phonetics. So first let us see listening here. Now we are into listening section. So here you can see the importance of the listening. And beside to that, we are having levels. So this is a basic level, this is an intermediate level, and this is a mastery level. So in basic level, we are having a sub levels of A1 and A2, and intermediate level B1 and B2, and in mastery level C1 and C2. So in each level, we are having different types of activities or different kinds of activities and in each level the level of performing activity will be increasing from level A1 to level C2 so for time being let me show you level B1 so this is level B1 and these are the units that are covered under B1 so first let us see blood relations blood relations so this is the intro screen of this unit blood relations here you can see a pointer is navigating to click on this icon this is next button when you click on this next button you will be navigated to the next screen likewise if you click on this this icon you will be redirected to the previous screen and this is replay button this is index button where you will be redirected to the home page here blood relations 
Now let us move on to the next screen. Listen to the audio clips and find the blood relations. Write the correct answer in the box and click submit button to verify your answers. So here you can see the instruction. Listen to the audio clip and find the blood relations. So here this is the audio clip button. So when we press on this audio button, we'll be listening to a audio clip here. So let us do this activity here. And after listening to that question, you have to write answer in this box. How is your father's son related to you? Father's son in the sense, my brother. How is your mother's daughter related to you? So here you have to listen carefully what it is playing in this audio clip. It is telling that. How is your mother's daughter related to you? Mother's daughter. It's nothing but sister. How is your uncle's daughter related to you? Uncle's daughter in a sense, cousin. How is your aunt's son related to you? Even aunt's son is also cousin. So after answering all the questions, you can see submit button will be highlighted here. So we have to click the submit button to verify our answers that is there in the instruction here. So here all my answers are correct. You can see here. And if you want to check your answers, you have to click on this show answers here. And if you want to do this activity again, you have to click on this reset button here. So likewise, you have to do activities in this unit. Now, let us see another kind of activity. So let me show you parts of speech. Parts of speech. Listen to the audio clip and find out the first noun you hear in the sentences. Click submit button to verify your answers. So here, first of all, you have we have to listen to this audio clip and we have to find out the first noun in the sentence. The kitten is under the mat. So here the first noun I heard is kitten. The boy is on the tree. Boy. The goat is on the stool. Here the first noun is goat. The girl is in the cab. So here the first noun is girl. The cab has four wheels. Cab is the first noun here. So here you can see all my answers are correct. So likewise, you have to do activities under this section that is parts of speech. So once you finish all these units here, you will be having assessment section under these units. So you have to undergo this section if you want to move to the next levels. So let me see what is this assessments. 
Listen to the audio and choose the correct answer. Sister, we have our school annual day today. Will you attend? Yes, I will. I have to apply for leave. There are several sports items. Do you take part in any event? Yes, I am taking part in 200 meters race. When will the prize distribution function begin? It will be at 6.30 p.m. Who is presiding over the function? The district collector presides over the function. Who distributes the prizes? The wife of the district collector will distribute the prizes. So here you can see the assessment and you will be having 10 assessments in total and this is the first assessment you will be having here. So you have to go through this all these 10 activities and you have to gain some percentage here to move on to the next level and you will be given time here. So within the specified time you have to finish this activity. So likewise you will be having a time for each assessment so if you want to do this uh, activity later you can click on this attempt later button here listen to the given audio and choose the correct answers I so likewise you have to do activities in this assessment section listen 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 state So once attempting all the activities, you have to click on this submit button here. So as I have not uh, attempted any of the assessment, it is not highlighting here and I am clicking on this attempt later button. So here you can see it is prompting me you have not attempted 10 questions that is 10 activities and they are and these. So these are the 10 activities that I have not attempted and it is asking me do you want to attempt, attempt it now and if you want to click on yes you can attempt, attempt it here and if you want to skip this and you have to click on this skip button here and here you can see the results so here the total percentage is 100 and pass percentage is 75 and I have gained 0% because I have not attempted any of the assessment here and it is showing here try again so here you can see an instruction here since no questions were att attempted review is not available for you so if you attempt your questions so then you'll uh, get to know to review this uh, uh, assessment so this is about assessments So likewise you will be having uh, units in each level and uh, assessments. So let me show you that once. So these are the units that are covered under A1. and these are the units that are covered under A2 these are the units under B2 so if you want to go through once I can show you this uh, another kind of activity here Summarizing a story. Listen to the following story and answer the questions that follow. Spiders are actually called arachnids, a group of animals related to insects that have eight legs. Some spiders spin silk webs to catch and eat prey, while others attack their prey. Some spiders like tarantulas, are large enough to eat lizards and mice. Some people are afraid of spiders because they bite. Most spiders, however, will only bite 
If they think they are in danger and most are harmless, spiders are actually helpful to people because many eat insect pests like cockroaches and mosquitoes. Now, answer the following. So here first of all we have to listen to the following story and we have to answer the questions that follow. So we have already listened to the story. And apart, apart from that we will be having another instruction here. In case of wrong attempt, drag the audio seek bar to listen the audio again to answer accurately. So this is the audio seek bar. So when you are not figuring out uh, the answer but answer, correct answer. So then you can just drag the audio seek bar like this forward or backward so you can able to listen to the audio again so you can answer accurately some spiders like tarantulas are so like this you can drag the audio so now let me uh, do this activity here so you can see here as I am clicking on the option it is saying whether it is true or false whether it is correct or wrong so you can see here this is correct and this is wrong this is correct and this is wrong because this is an instant feedback slide so at the time of attempting the answers you'll be getting the correct answers simultaneously like this So these are the correct answers and these are the wrong answers. So likewise you have to do activities in this section that is summarizing a story. And of course you will be having assessments. We have to undergo these uh, assessments if you want to move on to the next levels. So these are the sections that are covered under C1 section, C1 level. And these are the sections that are covered under C2 level. So this is about listening. Now we are going to see about speaking. So now we are into the speaking section. So here you can see the importance of the speaking. And like in listening, you will be having levels here also in speaking basic level A1 and A2 intermediate level B1 and B2 mastery level C1 and C2 so let me show you B1 here so these are the topics that are covered under B1 section So let me show you likes and dislikes here. Express your likes or dislikes on the given topic by clicking the record button. Click play button to listen your voice. So here we can see a topic is given for us to express our likes and dislikes. And here we have to record by clicking on this record button. And after recording, we can play to this button to listen to our voice. And finally, we can download also our voice. So before that, here we'll be having reference audio and reference audio script. First, let us see reference audio script. So here is the reference audio script. So when you scroll it down, you'll be having 
the entire script here so by looking at the script you can record your voice here also you can listen to this reference audio button dogs dog is a well known domestic animal it is very faithful and loyal friend of man they are considered as the first animal ever to be domesticated by the human it has been proved as a very useful and an obedient animal for the human kind they can be easily controlled and taught anything through proper training it can bite so like this you can listen to the reference audio once and by looking at this audio script you can record your voice here by clicking on this record button so let me show you that so it is asking to allow the microphone access so let's just click on this allow so now i am going to record here dog is a well known domestic animal it is very faithful and loyal friend of man they are considered as the first animal ever to be domesticated by the human it has been proved as a very useful and an obedient animal for the human kind so after recording you can listen to your voice here by clicking on this play button So now I am going to record here. Dog is a well-known domestic animal. It is very faithful and loyal friend of man. They are considered as the first animal ever to be domesticated by the human. It has been proved as a very useful and an obedient animal for the human kind. So here uh, you have, I have listened my voice that I have recorded here. And here you can see the download button. So even you can download your voice here by clicking on this download button. So here you can save your voice in your uh, local disk. So like this, you have to do the activities in this unit, likes and dislikes. So let me show you another kind of activity. Conversations at school. Conversation between two classmates. The section situational conversation is meant to improve the communication skills of the students. In this section, we will observe a conversation between two classmates about the previous class. Samuel, why were you absent yesterday? I had some urgent work. Why? Was there any special in the class? Yesterday it was a discussion class and the teacher told us a few important things. Oh, is it? What did she say? You know, it takes 20 seconds for a red blood cell to circle a whole body. It has been proven that people can lessen reactions to allergies by laughing. So here is this is the conversation between two friends about the previous class. And like this you'll be having a conversation. And based on this conversation you'll be having an activity in the next screen. Imagine yourself as Samuel. Click play button to listen Pradeep's dialogues and record Samuel's dialogues by pressing the record button. Click on sequential playback button to listen the complete conversation. So here is the dialogue of Pradeep and Samuel. So here we have to imagine ourselves as Samuel and we have to record our dialogues by clicking on this record button and uh, before going to record here you will be having a reference audio so when you click on this reference audio you will be listen to the the whole conversation 
Samuel, why were you absent yesterday? I had some urgent work. Why? Was there any special in the class? Yesterday it was a discussion class and the teacher told us a few important things. Oh, is it? What did she say? So like this you can able to listen to the whole conversation there. And here also you can click on this play button to listen to this Pradeep dialogues. Samuel, why were you absent yesterday? So here I can record this dialogue by clicking on this record button. So let me show you that. I had some urgent work. Why? Was there any special in the class? So likewise, I can record all my dialogues here. Oh, is it? What did she say? So likewise, you have to record all your dialogues here. So let me finish that recording here. So once recording all your dialogues, you can see here, uh, this is a sequential playback button. So once you click here, you can listen to the complete conversation. Samuel, why were you absent yesterday? Yesterday it was a discussion class and the teacher told us a few important things. Oh, is it? What did she say? You know, it takes 20 seconds for a red blood cell to circle a whole body. It has been proven that people can listen reactions to alert. So like this, you can listen to your conversation. So you have to do activities in this way, in this unit, that is in conversations at school. So likewise, we'll be having activities in every section. So let me go through that once. So here you can see the units that are covered under A1. These are the sections under B2. So let me show you this vocabulary here. Click play button to listen the pronunciation of the words and then click on record button to record your voice. Later, click on the verify button to compare your voice and finally download your recorded voice by clicking on download button. So here is a word grind and here is the phonetic word of this grind and here this is a play button so when you click on this play button you can able to listen to this word here and this is a record button so by cl clicking on this uh, record button you have to record your voice so let me show you how it works grind grind so here you can verify your voice with your experts voice so that you can able to know whether you are up to the mark or not up to the mark so that uh, it will help us to pronounce the word better grind grind so like this 
you can even verify your voice with the expert's voice and also you can download your voice by clicking on this download button so likewise you will be having the words in this slide so there are total eight slides in a single page so likewise you will be having a number of words in each slide and here if you can see next and previous buttons so once finishing all these words here you have to click on this next button here so here also you'll be having words and if you want to go back to the previous screen you have to click on this previous button here so like this and if you want to move to the next activity you have to click on this next button here so let me show you the topics that are covered under C1 these are the topics that are covered under C1 and these are the topics that are covered under C2 So this is about speaking. Now we are going to see about reading. So now we are into the reading section. So here you can see what is the importance of reading. And like in listening and speaking, here also we'll be having levels like basic level, intermediate level and mastery level. And the sub levels are A1. A2, B1, B2, C1 and C2. So apart from these levels, we'll be having vocabulary builder also. So we'll come to this session later. So for the time being, I'm going to show you the activities that are in B1 here. So these are the units that are covered under B1 section. B1 level. So here let me show you types of questions and tags types of questions and tags look at the sentences on the screen oh it's mine please lower it down no sir my service is over I've turned 60 why won't you mention the figure man Bujaba persisted artfully. Observe the highlighted words. It's, I've, won't. Contraction is a shortened form of a particular word or group of words. It is can be written as, it's. I have can be written as, I've. Will not can be written as, won't. We will focus on yes or no questions. What do we do if we want to know something or ask something? We ask different questions, right? Questions that we ask are of two types. WH questions and yes or no questions. The WH questions are called so because the questioning words have the letters W and H. For example, what, who, whom, whose, which, where, why, when, etc. The yes-no questions should be answered in one word, that is, yes or no. So these are the lessons that are uh, given in this level B1. Now we will see an activity. Observe the below conversation. The first girl has asked a few questions and the second girl answered them. Based on the answers, can you guess the questions 
the first girl asked. Click the given button for answers. So this is an activity here. We have to guess the questions for the girl that is asked here. So if you want answers, we have to click here, answers button. So these are the questions for the girl that is asked by here, her friend. So these are the questions. So here we have to frame questions like this. Are they tourists? No, they are not tourists. Is Gita a clever girl? Yes, Gita is a clever girl. So here she is answering to her friend by saying yes or no. We'll see question tags here. We will learn about question tags. Observe the following statements. Let us learn in detail about the question tags and their formation. Question tags are short questions at the end of statements. They are used to get agreement or confirmation. These are short or contracted form of questions. These are formed using the auxiliary verb of the sentence. Forming question tags. Usually, the tags are formed with auxiliary or helping verbs such as am, is, are, was, where, do, does, did, can, could, will, would, shall, should. So, this is a lesson based on question tags. So, let us see an activity based on this question tags. Read the following sentences carefully. Then drag and drop the correct question tags into the fields provided and click the submit button. So here is an activity for us. First we have to read the sentences here and we have to drag the options here. And we have to drag like this. And we have to drop them in the correct place. So now we'll verify our answers whether that is correct or not by clicking on the submit button. Yes, here you'll see this is the right answer and the rest of the questions are wrong. And these are the correct answers here. So like I said earlier, if you want to do this activity, you have to click this reset button. So we'll be having these kind of activities in this uh, unit tag types of questions and tags. Let us go to go to home page here. So now let me show you another unit here that is one word substitute. One word substitutes. What are one word substitutes? The words which replace a group of words or a full sentence without changing the base meaning are called one-word substitutes. The word rendezvous is a one-word substitute for a meeting place. So this is an introduction for these one-word substitutes. We'll be uh, like this, we'll be having a lesson and based on that we'll be having an activity. Click the one word substitute from the options that is equivalent to the given sentence. So here is an activity for us. First of all, uh, we have to look at the sentences here and we have to identify the one word substitute for that question. So this is a correct answer and these are the wrong answers. So like this, uh, we have to do activities uh, in this uh, unit that is one word substitutes. So this is about uh, level B1. So same like we'll be having activities in level C1 and C2 and B1 like A1 and A2 also. 
so let me show you another unit here in under level C1 spotting errors find out which part of a sentence has an error and mark the answer corresponding to the appropriate letter a b c if a sentence is free from errors then mark d as the answer click submit button to verify your answers so here is an activity for us so first of all we have to find the error in the sentence at which part there is an error in the sentence here it is uh, marked as a b c and d so in which part is sentence is there we have to find out that error and if there is no error and you have to write d as answer in this area So I have marked all the answers and here you can see the submit button. So only one is correct. So these are the correct answers. And uh, so in C we have a if we, ha we have an error in C. So what would be the correct answer? For that we have to click on this explanation button here. So here you can see the correct sentence. I have lots of work to do. But here in the question, you can see I have many work to do. So here in C we have an error. So likewise you'll be having answers for all the questions. So this is another kind of activity we are having in spotting errors. Likewise, we'll be having activities in C2 also. So let me show you double fillers. Double fillers. Choose the option that best suits in the given text. So here is an activity for us. Uh, first of all, we have to see the sentence here. So we'll be having two blanks here. So for these two blanks, we have to identify the option which best suits in the question. So here we'll be having the options. From this we have to identify the correct pair. So total you'll be having five questions in activity one. So you have to answer these questions here. And after uh, selecting your option, we you have to click on this next button here. So I have uh, marked all the answers. So here you will be having your report. Total number of questions are 5. And uh, I did only 2 correct. And I made 3 wrongs. And I haven't skipped anything. So it is showing 0 here. So let me review those questions. By clicking on this review button. So you can uh, have a review of this question. So feedback. You will be getting a feedback here. So I have marked the correct answer. So it is showing here this is correct answer. And the feedback for the second question you can see here. So this is the wrong answer. I have marked B. But the correct answer is D. So this should be the answer for this question. So likewise you will be having feedback for every question. So this is about uh, these levels. So now we'll see about vocabulary builder.
so in like in vocabulary builder we are having levels like level 1 to 8 so what are these 8 levels let me show you what are these 8 levels so here you can see what are the 8 levels it is described here so in the level 1 we will be having basic nouns that is used by beginners in level 2 these are the verbs which help users to convey actions and in level 3 it improves the vocabulary and in level 4 uh, the learners who wish to become proficient in English vocabulary need to exposure to these verbs or nouns in level 5 it contains verbs of regular usage in our daily activities likewise we'll be having verbs in 6 7 and 8 so let me show you the verbs that you contain in level 7 Giggle. Giggle. Kate giggled when she saw her brother in a funny dress. Chuckle. Audience chuckled when Johnny Lever told them funny stories about film stars. Snigger. Boys sniggered at the mistakes their teacher made in the class. Chortle. Children chortled when their friend slipped on the floor. Titter. Children titter when they see something new. Cackle. I saw some ducks cackle. So here uh, you can see some of the words and with the respective examples also. So where it is exactly used you can see here in the given example. So after completing this, it is uh, navigating us here to press this next button. So you'll be having more words here. So in this slide, we'll be having these words here. And if you want to go to the next slide, you have to click on this next button here. So total in total, we'll be having 51 pages here. So in each page, we'll be having these kinds of words in this level 7. So likewise, we'll be having number of words here under each level. So this is about reading. Now we are going to see about writing. So here you see the importance of the writing and as usual like in other sections here also we will be having basic intermediate and mastery levels and the sub levels A1, A2, B1, B2, C1 and C2. So now let me show you the units and the activities that are covered under B2. So these are the units under level B2. Let me show you comparing and contrasting. Comparing and contrasting. Tables, graphs and charts. Fill in the blanks with suitable answers. Click Submit to verify your answers. So here we'll be having a table. So by looking at this table, we have to answer these questions here. So here we have to type our answers. So after that we have to submit to verify our answers.
and you can see the answers here so if you want to do this again this activity again you have to click on this reset button here look at the data in the graph and answer the following questions click submit to verify your answers so here we can see the graph so by looking at this graph we have to answer these questions here So this is one type of activity we are having in comparing and contrasting. So now let me show you the summarizing. Summarizing. Let us see what is summarizing. Summarizing means condensing a text to its main points in our own words. To include every detail is neither necessary nor desirable. We may have to gather minor points or components of an argument from different places in the text in order to summarize the text in an organized way. A point made in the beginning of an essay and then one made towards the end may need to be grouped together in your summary to concisely convey the argument that the author is making. Read the story given on the screen and summarize it. Click summary button to view its summary. So here we have the text. So first of all we have to read this whole text here. And we have to write a summary based on this story. So if you want to check the summary, you can also click here on the summary button. Edited summary on the umbrella morals. So this is the edited summary on the given topic that is umbrella morals. So let me show you another units under C1 and these are the units that are under C1 bar graph so this is a bar graph unit summarize the information in the chart by selecting and reporting the main features make comparisons where relevant click reference button for your reference so by looking at this uh, bar graph, we have to write a report. And if you want to look at the reference, you can click on this uh, reference button. So here you can have reference. So like this, we'll be having activities in the bar graph. Let me show you another unit here. Line graph. Observe the line graph carefully and explain it in your own words. Click reference button for your reference. So here first of all we have to look at this line graph and we have to explain this line graph. What is there inside this line graph and we have to write it here. If you want to look at the reference, you can click the reference button here. So this is a reference for this activity. So likewise, we'll be having units under C1. So now let me show you under C2. So these are the units that are covered under C2. So now let me show you this grammatical accuracy. In the following passage, some of the words are underlined. 
Find out the grammatical accuracy and write your answer in the boxes given below. Click Submit button to verify your answers. So here uh, we have given a passage and some of the words are underlined. And uh, here you can see the numbering also. This is the first one. And uh, if, if it is wrong, you have to write the correct answer in the first box here. And if you see here, it is the second one. And if you feel that it is wrong, you have to write the correct answer in the respective box here. So like that, you have to write your answers in the boxes provided here. And after that, you have to click Submit button. And if you want to do the activity again, uh, so you have to click on this Reset button. Find out of context sentence from the following. Click submit button to verify your answers. So here we'll be having uh, four sentences. And in these four sentences, one sentence will be the out of the context. So that sentence we have to find out here. So these three are belongs to one context and this sunflower oil can help relieve skin conditions and this sentence is the out of the context sentence this is not relevant to this context so this would this will be the answer so likewise you have to find out here in the following questions Likewise, uh, we'll be having activities even in A1, A2 also. So let me show you once. So here you can see the units. and uh, we know about these assessments so we have already seen about these assessments so if you want to uh, move on to the next levels you have to undergo this assessment section and these are the units that are covered under A2 section So this is about writing. Now we'll see about phonetics. So now we are into the phonetics section. So here left side of the pane you can see what are the topics that are covered under each level. That is from level A1 to C2. Uh, but uh, from the uh, for the in the right side of the pane, you can see all the sections here. So we can go through all these sections one by one. So first, let us go to A1 here. So these are the topics that are covered under A1 here. So starting from introduction to phonetics, 
ending with monosyllabic word six so first let us see introduction to phonetics so we all know that this is an intro screen of this phonetics alphabet in english there are 26 letters in english alphabet click each letter to listen to its pronunciation so here we can click on the each letter to listen to its particular pronunciation of that letter q e g i k so like this we can listen to the letter by clicking on that button Hello everybody and welcome to the world of sounds. Before we start with today's session, I have a simple question for all of you. How many letters of alphabets are there in English? A very simple question. How many letters of alphabets are there in English? You are right. There are 26 letters of alphabets in English. Absolutely right. Let us start with the first letter of alphabet in English. A. Letter of alphabet A. Since childhood, we are taught as A for apple or A as in apple. Now, let us pause and think of five words that begin with letter of alphabet A. I have five words. Let us see. Aeroplane, apple, artist, alarm, around. Alright? Now, let us look at these words again. I said aeroplane but when a as in apple why don't we call aeroplane or why do we say actor why not why not actor and why do we say artist why not artist no answer this is a funny language right so what we understand now is this one single letter of alphabet A gives different sounds like A, A, A. Now just imagine then how many sounds do other letters of alphabet give? To be precise here, these 26 letters of alphabet give us 44 sounds so these 26 letters of alphabet give 44 sounds and study of these sounds is called as phonetics each sound is represented with a symbol and this symbol is called as phonetic symbol you can have word representation in the form of phonetic symbols and in this session we are going to learn these sounds and their symbols now this is primarily to enhance our accent and reduce mother tongue influence that we carry being non-native English speakers so we will start with this session and before we start, happy learning. So this is the phonetic table we have here. So in phonetic table, we'll be having all sounds, diphthongs, unconsonant sounds. So under this, we have instruction that mouse over on symbols for pronunciation. So, ah, ear, k, l. 
so like this we can listen to the particular pronunciation of the symbol <coughs> so even we can listen to the sample words when we click on the particular symbol like this biscuit kite quick a train game wait so like this so we can even listen to the words also so this is about the phonetic table so like this we'll be having a number of uh, units that is covered under this lesson introduction to phonetics so now let us see the monosyllabic words as we all know that syllable is a vowel sound with or without surrounding consonants in english there are many words wherein the entire word itself is only of one syllable today let us understand such words and read out few examples let's take an example of single syllable word we also call it as monosyllable to start with say act act is a one syllable word the entire word is only one syllable that is act act and because it is one syllable the stress is obviously on the entire word take few more examples add add age age just one syllable this is age aid aid aim aim now this is another good example where we can see the difference between american english and british english words ending with consonant r sound or we otherwise say r sound this is very prominent sound in american english but when it comes to british english all the word endings with sound r r remains silent that is r remains silent take an example air air r sound is not there and it is pronounced as air air apt so like this so we will be having a number of words that under monosyllabic words here so likewise we will be having number of units also here so this is about a1 section now let us move on to the a2 so here we can see these are the units that are covered under a2 section the first one is consonant sounds and so under that we'll be having disyllabic words so first let us see the consonant sounds here voiceless consonant sh sh sound and voiced consonant z z sound sh as in show mention cash z as in usual occasion pleasure sh sound at the beginning of the word as in shock show shout chiffon sure chef shake shipment shade shiver sh sound in the middle of the word as in mission pressure session patience option professional special social negotiate 
anxious. Sh sound at the end of the word as in finish, mustache, polish, relish, crash, crash, wish, lavish. So, English. like this, we'll be having a consonant Crash. sounds here in this section, Come. and uh, some of the consonants are covered in this section as a like part one, and uh, some uh, another consonant sounds will be covered in the next coming sections. Like that is like in uh, uh, the, now it is in level A two. Consider this as a part one. In the next coming sections like B one, B two, C one, and C two will be having another consonant sounds. Uh, detailed ex uh, detail. Uh, uh, there will be a detailed explanation about this. Uh, now let us see uh, some of the activities based on these uh, consonant sounds. Identify the words that are pronounced with sh and j sound. Drag and drop them into their respective boxes. So this is an activity. Click here. submit so button to verify to your the answers. Words that are pronounced with sh and j. So these are the options that are given here. So you have to drag and drop the particular sounds here. So like this we have to drag and drop them into their boxes. So after that we have to click submit button to verify our answers. So these are the correct. So like this we'll be having an activity based on the sounds here. So now let us go to disyllabic words. So far, we have gone through various monosyllabic words. Now, let us go through disyllabic words, that is, words with two syllables. Depending upon word, the stress might be on first syllable or on the last syllable. Abbey, two syllable word. A, B. The stress is on A. Say, Abbey. Abbey. The stress syllable is more prominent. Say, Abbey. Absence, two syllables again. Ab, since. The stress is on first syllable. Absence. Absence. Absorb. Two syllables again. Absorb. Absorb. The stress is on second syllable. Absorb. And say. Absorb. Absorb. The stress is on second syllable. Absorb. Absorb. Abuse, abuse, two syllables, uh. Now this sound, uh, is a very feeble sound. Phonetically, we call it schwa sound. It is a very low, uh, sound. And whenever you have this low sound or schwa, the stress is not given on the sound. Because the moment you stress a, uh, it becomes another vowel a. Uh. Hence, it is abuse. The stress is on abuse. Say abuse. So, like this, we'll be having a number of words in the disyllabic words. Accent. So, these are the words that are covered under this section. So, this is about the A2 section. Now let us move on to the B1. So these are the units that are covered under the B1. So as I said earlier, here we are having consonant sounds. So another, uh, some of the other consonant sounds that are covered uh, under this section. So now let us see first the consonant sounds here.
voiceless consonant h and voiced consonant y h as in hello behind y as in your beyond yesterday sound h in the beginning of the word as in he how whose whom here happen whole how in the middle of the word as in ahead behind behave anyhow inhale inherit let's practice her sound with few sentences how may i help you what happened how have you been do you have a home phone number who is speaking is it henry or harry helen had hot dogs and hamburgers voiced consonant y y in the beginning of the word as in yes you use your yet your yesterday y in the middle of the word as in onion lawyer beyond values a news beautiful news now let us read aloud and compare sounds h and y hello yellow who you here year hung young hell so like yell. this you'll be having uh, let us some read out more sentences section, and practice uh, like we are having in the uh, a to section so another type uh, uh, some of some of the other words that are covered under the c1 section as part 3 So now let us see our uh, trisyllabic words. We have so far gone through monosyllabic and disyllabic words. Now let us go through trisyllabic words. That is words with three syllables. and as said stress will depend upon the syllable now it can be on first syllable or second syllable or the last syllable let us start with the word abandon it has three syllables first syllable is a uh, which is a low feeble sound schwa sound ban second syllable and dan last syllable the stress is on second syllable the stress is on second syllable ban abandon abolish abolish a ba ish i repeat a uh, ball ish the stress is on second syllable ball abolish abolish so like this we will be absolute. having our trisyllabic words under this section absolute so this is about the section b1 so now let us move on to section b2 So here we'll have two units that is oral sounds that is pure oral and the quarter syllabic words. So first let us see about the oral sounds here. So far we have learned various consonant sounds. 
Now, let us move on to vowel sounds. As mentioned earlier, vowels are divided into pure vowels and diphthongs. Let us start with pure vowel sounds. And the first vowel that we would learn is sound I. I as in king. It's a short I sound. I. I at the beginning of the word as in in, if, it, is, ill. I in the middle of the word as in Pin, lift, give, miss, listen. Let us go through few more words as in gym, symbol, system, rhythm, syrup, build, guitar, guilt, bin, busy. Practice a sound with sentences. What is this? Bill went up the hill and fell ill. My little sister is sitting still. One of the fascinating features of the English language is the way the same letter produces a different sound in different words. Let us start with the vowel sound A, kit, bit, sit. Here, the words so like kit, this, you'll be bit and sit the represent the word. sound of A. It is the short sound vowel and unrounded. The, the position of the tongue is front and the mouth is nearly close. After trisyllabic, let us go through few four syllabic words. To start with, ability, ability, a, bill, a, t. The stress is on second syllable, bill, ability, accommodate. Accommodate. So, like this, you'll be having a number of words under the quarter syllabic words. The stress is on second syllable. Calm. So, this is about the accommodate. B2 section. Now, let us move on to C1. Accompany. Accompany. So, here we'll be having two units that is diphthongs and pentasyllabic words. First, let us see about diphthongs. So far, we have learned pronouncing pure vowel sounds. Now it's time to move on to learn diphthongs. And the first diphthong is A. A as in eight. A at the beginning of the word as in eight. Age. A. Ache. A in the middle of the word as in save. Rain. Late. Lake, date, a at the end of so the like word this, as be in having, uh, way, say, obey, may, today. So based on diphthongs that, so we'll not only add also. clarity to the sound but they also add so let us style. Let us words. go through a few more words and practice. After four syllabic words, it's now time to know five syllabic words. 
accommodation, accommodation, accommodation. The stress is on dash, fourth syllable, dash, accommodation, accommodation. Administration, administration, ad, min, is, trash, n. Stress is again on fourth syllable, stresh, administration. Anniversary. So, like this, will be having a number of pentasyllabic words in like this section. Ne so, this is about the C1. Sir. Now, let us Re. move on to the section The stress C2. is on third syllable. Ver anniversary. So here we'll be having C2. This number of anniversary. That under C2 section here. And this is the first one is pronouncing sounds. First, let us see that unit. Now let us understand how to pronounce past tense verbs. Verbs where word endings are with ed. And how should we pronounce this ed? The ending ed will always sound like sound t. When the last sound in the present tense verb is voiceless. Let us go through few examples. Present tense verb fix. The past tense verb will be fixed. Assess, assessed. Cash, cashed. Check, checked. Develop, developed. Finish, finished. Wash, washed. Replace, replaced. Press, Pressed, stop, stopped, laugh, laughed. The ending ed of the past. Put the correct option that ends with z sound for each word. Hope so far you have enjoyed the journey of sounds. But this is not enough to get the right accent. Accent and especially English accent is incomplete without voice modulation because English is supposed to be the language of expressions. A well modulated voice is melodious. A dull voice is not interesting because it is lacking in variety and we all know that variety is the spice of life. What is modulation? Modulation is the rise and fall of our voice. When we are asking a question, the pitch goes up, whereas when making a statement, the pitch goes down. Also, we can express a wide range of emotions we change in pitch. For example, our pitch should be higher when we are happy, excited or surprised and lower when sad or afraid. Remember, it's not so much about what you say, but how you say. What exactly are the mechanics of modulation? Stress and pitch are two sides of one coin modulation. What changes when you put stress on a word? There are three ways to stress a word. The first way is to just get louder or raise the volume. This is not a very sophisticated way of doing it, but it would definitely command attention. The second way is to Stretch the word out or lengthen the word that you want to draw attention to. 
which sounds very insinuating. The third way which is most refined is to change the pitch or tone. Remember four P's of voice modulation. To sound interesting while talking to your customers or your colleagues or peers, just remember the four P's. First one is pitch. By practicing to vary your pitch, we will have a beautifully modulated voice. People don't want to talk to a robo. They want an emotional, understanding, friendly, human touch to their conversation. The second is pace. Most of the time, a moderate pace is required, not too fast or slow. But sometimes, we need to change the speed of our delivery to add variety, dramatic effects of lowering our voice and also of using the full range form a memorable impact. When we use a slow delivery with a low soft voice, still audible, it captures the audience attention. Pause. Pause is a brief moment during which the speaker is silent. Sentences should be divided through the use of pauses. Pauses help our mind to absorb information easily. We can also use a pause to emphasize meaning or give importance. Pleasant. Our tone of voice must always be pleasant when dealing with people. No matter how irate the person might become, we must always maintain a pleasant tone of voice never angry, sarcastic or moody. What is a pause? Pause is a brief moment during which the speaker is silent. Sentence should be divided through the use of pauses. The speaker can use a pause to convey or emphasize meaning. For example, I finished my homework and watched TV. This is a correct pause. If I say I finished my homework and watched TV, and that's a wrong pause. Before going to MTI, let us know what is mother tongue. Mother tongue is one's native language which is learned by children and passed from one generation to another. One can communicate his or her ideas by means of sounds. English is a second language and it is a global language. Some people have a tendency of sounding v as b as in the words give, save, have, etc. and sh as sir as in the words trash, fish and shore because of incorrect movement of the tongue or the lips. Let us go through few words with six syllables. Thermophosphorescence Thermophosphorescence Ther, mo, fos, fur, res, ins. Stress is on fifth syllable, res. Thermophosphorescence. Disproportionateness. Disproportionateness. Dispropor-tion-it-ness. The stress is on third syllable, par. Disproportionateness. Disproportionateness. <laughs>